What is going on, my Super Sandwiches? Rhyme Style here, and today I bring some more Dragon Ball Fighters talk. And today I want to talk about the top seven ultimate attacks that I want to see in this game. Now, before I start, two things. Number one, at the time we're recording this on June 16th, 2017, I have no idea what the character roster looks like or any character that I even plant. At the time we're recording this, there's only six that are showing up at E3, and I have no idea when they're going to reveal the next character. So, this is purely speculation, just my wish list based on attacks I've seen in other games and the anime. And what I want from you guys is also to kind of chime in as well and let me know which attacks you want to see in this game in the comment section below. So, again, I have no idea what the character roster is. I don't know what the final build is going to look like or how they're going to do it. This is just, again, speculation off of attacks I've seen in the series and past games. And the second thing, just as I said a couple seconds ago, I want to hear from you guys as well. So in the comment section below, only one move. What is that one ultimate attack that you want to see? Obviously not counting Goku, Gohan, and Cell, the attacks that are already shown off. But maybe different attacks from those characters. Drop in the comment section below right now. And also feel free to discuss amongst yourself all of the attacks and how they would actually look like in this game. So without further ado, let's get into this list. At the top of my list, number 7, I gotta go with Broly. Now, I know Broly is kind of a character that I like to make fun of every now and then. He's not one of my, my most favorite characters, but I, you can't deny he's awesome. He's incredible. And with how popular Broly is, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be a character that's gonna get revealed at some point in this game. I mean, name one game where Broly wasn't in it. I, you're probably gonna have to take some time to figure that one out because I don't even know myself off the top of the head. Except for Final Bout, I guess. I think Final Bout was the only game I could think about where Broly was in the game. But Broly... The thing about Broly is his attacks are super flashy and seeing an attack like the Omega Blaster, the giant green blowy up attack in a game like Dragon Ball Fighters and how the animation style is will, will look absolutely gorgeous. Depending on the map that you choose, whether it's from you know, a map like the World Tournament where it shows the explosion from a distance or even showing up an attack from outside of space like looking down on Earth or Namek would look absolutely incredible and gorgeous. So because of that, I want to see Broly at the top of my list with the Omega Blaster in Dragon Ball Fighters. And the other thing about Broly as well is they could also mix and match how the attackers pull off. I mean, imagine this. Broly's attack could be like a grab that basically goes into grabbing you, smashing you, throwing you to the ground, and then firing a the blast attack off. So because of, of all the potential that they could do with this game and adding to how flashy it looks, I feel like not including Broly would be kind of a crime. So that's why Broly's the top of my list with the Omega Blaster or whatever they call the attack, because I'm sure they might change the name around and stuff like that. But just all the flashiness and the rawness of it and the power and the maximum destruction is why I want to see that, and that's why he's on the top of my list. Number six on my list would be higher, but I'm putting him on the bottom list only because of the reason of not knowing how this attack would be flashy as far as destructive and stuff like that. Of course, I gotta go with my boy Hit. Now, the first time I saw Hit's ultimate attack in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, it was like one of my favorite looking ultimate attacks in the game because it freezes time, he beats you down, and then when time continues, you take the damage. It looks absolutely beautiful. But the reason why he's on the bottom of my list instead of the top is because most of these ultimate attacks are supposed to be flashy that you know you can see from outside of space, outside of the city, and just the destructive uh, you know capacity of the attack. But Hit doesn't really have any explosive moves. Because all he does is just basically freeze time and then beat you down and then unfreeze his time and then that's it. But because of how beautiful Dragon Ball Fighters looks, the ultimate attack for Hit, if he ends up being in the game, will be absolutely beautiful. And I'm, I'm having my fingers crossed. I feel like Hit's one of those characters that we all like, but I don't think he's going to be in the game for whatever reason. I just feel like because this is going to have a much smaller character roster and Hit's more of a less major character. I guess he's a more minor character in the Dragon Ball Super Series. I don't think we'll see him, but if we do see him, I hope that they give him the time skip as his ultimate and make it look as beautiful as it did with all the other attacks in the game. So fingers crossed for that one. I just wish they could figure out how to make it a little bit flashy because like, the only thing is is if you kill somebody in this game with an ultimate attack, it shows off that stage destruction. Whether it's again mapping out from the background, showing you know the city with an explosion, or showing planet Earth or Namek from outside of space and a blast showing up. I just don't see how they can fit that in. But hey, then again, these guys are creative and they can probably figure something out to make that you know destruction actually happen. But then again, I feel like Hit will be in the game, so the only time will tell at this point. Number five on my list is going to be Buhan, but unfortunately, I feel like Buhan is another character that we will not get again in Dragon Ball Fighters. And again, I'm hoping I'm wrong. If you're watching this, you know, Arc System works. Buhan, think about Buhan. He's a good character choice, and there's so many options to make him super flashy and amazing. But the ultimate attack that I'm going to go with is a Super Ghost Kamikaze Kamehameha attack. Now, the way I can see it is working is you trigger the cutscene, you know, you do like five key or three key or whatever key is required to pull the ultimate off, and it starts out with the Super Ghost flying up to your opponent doing a super massive Kamehameha in their face, and then, we ain't done yet, and then they explode. This adds the damage, the destruction, the flashiness, and its overall amazingness of a move. And like with a game like Dragon Ball Fighters, which already looks so flashy, I feel like they could just do so much with this move to make it look super pretty. So because of that, I want to see Buhan on his list. But then again, I, 
I feel like we won't get Buhan again just because I'm hurt from Dims not giving us Buhan. So we'll see what happens. I mean, this is what I see as a good possibility, actually. They showed off Majibu already. What they could do is, is they could add Super Buu into the game. And part of his abilities, they could let him transform into like someone like Buhan. Because, you know, we saw Frieza transform into Golden Form when he has enough key. And they could do the same thing with Super Buu, where he just transformed into Buhan. And while transformed, he could pull that attack off, you know, with... 5 key, 3 key, or whatever it is. So, they have so much room to make transformations actually pretty cool in this game and different as opposed to the past games. And with someone like Super Buu transforming into Buhan and then being able to access the Super Ghost Kamikaze Kamehameha attack, that is a mouthful. That could look incredible. So, with that said, Buhan, fingers crossed, Super Ghost Kamikaze Kamehameha attack. I hope that happens. Number 4, I got Gogeta, but this is kind of different. So, of course, I got to go with the Soul Punisher just because that attack looks absolutely beautiful. Every single game that's shown that attack off has made it pretty nice, as opposed to Xenoverse 2, which kind of lacked on the animation of it, but whatever. We'll talk about it another time. Soul Punisher has always looked pretty in most of the games, and with, again, the animation style of this game, it will look no different. However, the only question is, is how would you make it look destructive? Because, as you already know, Gogeta's Soul Punisher, or Stardust Breaker, starts out with the massive, crazy melee attacks that goes into the magical pocket sand that blows up on your opponent. Now, the explosion itself isn't one of those massive ones that can be seen from space, but what I see them doing, and this is why I had this at the, you know, in the middle of my list, what I see them doing is they could finish him off with the Kamehameha. So the way it works is, it has Gogeta go into the Soul Punisher, you know, your standard melee attack, he throws a pocket sand, it blows up, and it kind of leaves your opponent disabled, and then he busts out one last Super Kamehameha, which then shows the damage from space or outside the city, which adds to the flashiness of the game. So it's kind of a hybrid of Soul Punisher with Super Kamehameha, and because of that, it's in the middle of my list. But think about how beautiful that is. Just picture it for a second. Think about that. You know you want that. You know you want to see that move. So yeah, Gogeta, Soul Punisher, Kamehameha combo. I want to see that in the game. Number three. It's time to get into the top three of this list. Number three, I got to go with my boy Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. And similar to what I talked about with Gogeta just now, it will be a hybrid of two attacks. It starts out with the Divine Lasso, of course, because the Divine Lasso is one of the coolest attacks I've seen in the series in a very, very long time, where Rose traps the person with the purple needle things, blows it up, and then finishes it off as a point with the Kamehameha, which of course will be the factor that's seen outside of space and outside of city. Something to think about as you guys come up with your own list in the comment section below is the attack has to be flashy to the point where when it zooms out of space, you can see the attack being blown off the planet, or even when they show the attack close up from outside the city on the World Tournament stage. And initially I thought, well, you could do the Black Kamehameha, but what I don't want to see is basically every character having that as like a standard attack. I mean, we already saw the perfect Kamehameha, as well as the Father Son Kamehameha. They kind of have the same finisher when the map zooms out, you know, from the distance. So, what I did for this is, is I gave him the Divine Lasso and combined it with the Kamehameha. So, he traps his opponent, he blows him up, and then finishes him off, and then, then you can see the animation from outside of space or outside of city, however they decide to do it. And that will be a nice little touch to the game. On top of that, make it a little bit more unique than the other characters like, you know, Goku or, you know, Cell or Gohan, who just have the standard giant wave attacks that can be seen off the planet. I mean, even Goku's ultimate attack is different than Gohan's because he goes Super Saiyan 3 first and then he blasts his opponent. So again, this game is going to be a little bit different than the other games in the past because a team like Arc System Works and what they've been doing so far, they have a lot of room to make these attacks super unique and different. And that's what I like to see, you know, in the future of this game as they reveal more characters and ultimate attacks. Number two, I got to go with the Dragon Fist with Goku, of course. So Dragon Fist is one of those moves that's always looked beautiful in the past in the series and other games. And I want to see that to see what the team behind Dragon Ball Fighters can do as far as animation. Something you have to think about is the animation is kind of different depending on how much HP your opponent has. So for example, if you use Majin Buu's cookie attack, cookie beam, and eat your opponent, he kind of farts them out if they're not dead. However, if you kill your opponent with his cookie beam in Dragon Ball Fighters, he, he swallows them. He doesn't actually, you know, spit them back out. So that's kind of cool. So with that said, what they can do with the Super Dragon Fist in this game is, again, if you pull the attack off and your opponent doesn't die, they're still kind of there and the fight keeps going on. However, if you finish your opponent with the Super Dragon Fist, not only can they make it flashy by showing a dragon from space or from outside the city or whatever, but they also swallow the person and not spit them back out, basically disintegrating them completely. And because of that idea and concept alone, I would love to see Super Dragon Fist in this game. Now, unfortunately, I feel like we won't see Super Dragon Fist just because they already gave us Super Saiyan Goku who transforms into Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Because of that alone, I feel like we're not going to see Super Saiyan 3 Goku as a standalone character. Therefore, we probably won't see his attack. But in the future, if they do Dragon Ball Fighters 2 or something or like DLC characters or DLC Ultimate Attacks, hey, this attack right here will look incredible. Think about it. Give it to us. Now, here's the question. Drum rolls. What is my number one choice? I'm sure everybody knows what it is. And this is kind of a hybrid as well. And just hear me out first. The Beerus Hakak. Now, I know what you're thinking. Rhyme style, I thought you were already doing flashy attacks. Hakai is awesome, but you can't see that from outside of space and yada, yada, yada. This is how it would work. 
So the Bear Sakai would actually be a two-part attack featuring the Sphere of Destruction. You do when you have max key around like three or five key bars, and the way it works is it triggers the animation, Beerus fires the sun basically, it destroys the map, and then if you're about to die, if you have enough health to, you know, get destroyed by attack, instead of getting destroyed by the sphere of destruction, Beerus pops up last second and does the infamous Hakai. Now obviously if you survive the attack, it'll just be the sphere of destruction and that's it, you get back and fight. But if there's enough health to kill you with the move, basically it becomes a combination attack where he fires the sphere of destruction, you're basically dead, and just to like finish the animation, Beerus pops up behind you, Hakai's you, and that's it, game over, disintegrated. Picture that! Again, with the animation style of this game, it would look, inc it would look incredible! Oh, I'm just getting excited thinking about it. And again, I hope that Beerus is a character in this game. If not, it's going to hurt me really, really badly. But like, I'm just thinking all the possibilities that they can do. And by combining certain attacks together, it will be beautiful. Again, the thing I like about this game is animations kind of change depending on the situation. If you do the cookie bean with Majin Buu, he just kind of farts them out. But if you kill them, they stay dead. Like, you eat them and that's it, game over. He goes to sleep. And I love that. So I'm hoping to see some creative, you know, attacks at the end of the day with this game as it comes out in early 2018. So with that said, what do you guys think? Do you like my ideas? Are they stupid? Not stupid? Do you have any ideas of your own? I want you guys to pick only one attack that you personally would love to see in the comment section below and feel free to discuss. But let me know what you guys think. Again, when we get more information on the character roster and stuff like that and ultimate attacks and all the good stuff, I will keep you guys in the loop. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new here and I'll let you guys know what you need to know as it happens. But for now, let's talk about this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and a comment, especially if you're hyped for the game. Enjoy the rest of the day. My name is Rhyme Style, and I'll see you guys in the comment section below. Peace.